Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got uh, Gunslinger, Hell on Earth, Mario 64 Remastered. We have three wins in a row. The last one was a little bit hard fought, but uh, a win nonetheless. I think it was three wins in a row, right? Yeah, it was three wins in a row on Hell on Earth. And uh, I think that that's something to be, uh, to be happy about. So, I mean, maybe we won't have to move to uh, the, the suicidal. Maybe, maybe we're good at uh, Hell on Earth. Maybe, maybe I'm actually not bad at this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little distracted right now, honestly, because I'm, I'm having a conversation in the, in my Discord about my, uh, the situation that's happened today. With uh, some friends, and uh, it's got me a little bit distracted. But uh, I, I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, I mean the best thing to do would have been to wait until I'm not distracted and then record. But I mean, hey, what can you do, right? What can you do? So we've we've uh, we've we've had three wins in a row now. That's that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. I uh, I guess that's what I expected moving up to Hell on Earth, honestly. But it wasn't what I got immediately. And, uh, I mean, it is now, right? It is, it is what we're getting, so maybe I've, I've learned the good techniques for me to have for uh, thriving in Hell on Earth. Maybe I've, I've adapted and overcome, you know, as, as we do as a species. Oop, sorry, I, I meant to shoot your head. Should have been a painless death, but I made it a painful one. Ooh, sorry, buddy. I made no promises to your deaths being painless. Or your death. I'm gonna shoot your kneecaps out. Imagine how brutal it is. I'm just running around shooting people's kneecaps out. And it's like, it takes numerous bullets to, to pop their kneecaps. It's like, man. It's, it's got some, some kneecaps. I do want to find another uh, first person shooter to play. So I like for I like I like first person shooters. I know I had that uh, that Void Bastards on the um, on the uh, what should we call it? I don't really. It was a first person shooter, and I did call it a first person shooter in the uh, in the in the Amcheck tries in the in the the video metadata. But I don't know. I wouldn't really. I don't really consider it a first person shooter so much. Because I, I feel like it's, it's more about the mechanics that surround the first-person shooter experience um, than it is about the uh, the actual first-person shooter. Like, it could have been anything that they, they threw in there, right? It could have been, like, a, a classic dungeon-crawling game, or it could have been a top-down, like, uh, real-time strategy game, or it could have been... You know, like, they, they could have thrown anything on it. It would have been pretty much the same because it was about the uh, the base mechanics, but I liked it because of the first person shooter mechanics, mostly. Um, because I don't really like those other things so much. I like first person shooters, I like um, Diablo type of games, I like you know, like I like, I like a lot, of, I like a lot of things, but I found it fun because it was uh, because of the dun the, uh, the first person shooter aspects mostly. Oh, we are dead. I didn't see them. I didn't see them. I didn't see them. They weren't there until I was dead. Yeah, yeah, I know I might have noticed them while I was still alive, but like what you don't know is that Omai wa motion deru. Right? So that's all I think about when I see the, the stalkers is you see a stalker right up on you and it's just you're already dead. They get that flip on you and it's like 50 health knocked off immediately. It's brutal. Like you go from hard to suicidal, right? Like uh, every every new person is gonna do it, All right? You go from hard, where they don't do the flip, to suicidal, where they start doing the flip, and uh, every every new person, every every person who's just doing that for the first time, is gonna have a rude awakening when they're like, "Oh, stalkers! Pff, stalkers are nothing." They walk up to the stalkers and they're like, "Oh, crud! The stalkers are like." Insanely powerful now. What happened? We got some new weapons coming out in KF2 soon. There's um, 
We got the HRG weapons announced. There, I don't. I think that we know something about the um, the the new DLC weapons as well, but I'm not actually sure. I'm not staying too up to date on it, but the uh, the HRG weapons anyway, which I do know about. There's like a new um, HRG like flare gun thing. It's basically a flare gun that's just a better flare gun. Um. So that's 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 gonna be cool. I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. It's for firebug, so I probably won't play around with it much because I don't I don't do firebug. Um. And then uh, there's an HRG like Tesla coil thing, which uh, launches out the the electricity, which is probably gonna EMP stuff. And it like arcs between the Zeds and, and all that. That's gonna be also pretty fun. I mean, it's gonna be pretty anyway. So I'm, I'm looking forward to messing around with that one a little bit. But uh, there's there's, uh, there's there's those two new weapons which I knew about. I'm excited to play around with them once they come. I don't know when they're coming. Like I said, I don't really stay up to date on um, KF2 news anymore. Um, I don't know. It's like I obviously like the game. I'm still playing it. Well, I'd probably still be playing it even if I didn't like the game so much, honestly, because at this point in time, it's kind of become a staple of my uh, my life. Um, it's not even about the game anymore, so I guess, I don't know. I don't even know if I like the game. <laughs> honestly, like, it's not even about the game. That's not why I'm playing it, and that's not why I'm having fun. I like it because of the uh, the rambles that I get to do. Uh, anyway, I don't stay up to date on that stuff, so I don't know when it's coming. But it's coming soon! We're going to get the DLC weapons as soon as they drop. I always do. Um, probably be like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, or something like that. Canadian for me. For uh, for both of them. Usually is. Unless they drop the price again, which they did last time with the um, the blunderbuss and the uh, the uh, the Glocks. They uh, they dropped the price with those. So that was very nice of them. Very kind. Very kind of them indeed, our nice overlords giving us a discount on the guns. So, we'll see We'll see how it goes. I am going to be buying them. I think that there's a minigun coming, but it's not going to be so minigun. Like, I don't know, they said it's not very miniature, and I'm like, okay, so like, a big minigun? For commando, I guess? Which, that'll be cool, I like commando a lot. So, uh, I'll be picking that up for sure. I like the, um... The stoner on the commando, so the minigun's probably going to be a uh, a bit of an upgrade over that. Might not necessarily be that good for um, like general purpose, but for boss fights, I think that it's going to just annihilate. Because uh, generally speaking, miniguns, I don't know how they work in real life. I have no idea how they work in real life, so. I could be I could be wrong on how, how a minigun would work in real life, or if it is even practical for a minigun to exist in real life. I have zero idea. Okay? Like zero idea. I am I am speaking purely from the, the mini the miniguns I've seen in uh, in video games. Um they generally speaking require like a warm up period. So it starts off like right, but then it like it slowly starts to speed up. Oh, come on. I literally, I can't afford the, the Glock because, um, so I don't know, it might have some troubles in like general purpose where you're kind of like popping one shot over here and there, but you'd have to like hold down the, the button to, um, be able to rack it up to actually be like better than a stoner, which means it's not going to be really better than a stoner in most situations, except for like boss fights where... Being able to just spray into them is, is probably going to be uh, quite good. So, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll play around with that a little bit. I have no idea what the other weapon is going to be. There's always two DLC weapons when they release weapons. And I have no idea if we're going to get like new skins or we're going to get Halloween skins. I guess it's probably going to come out in like November then, right? Be, like a Halloween theme. Maybe uh, late September. We got, uh, it's coming up to late September, we're going to be getting the new, well, it's coming up to late, uh, late August, um, we're going to be getting the new, uh, consoles coming out soon, 
So that's pretty cool. We got the uh, the Xbox 5 and the PlayStation 5. I think it's the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S or whatever. Who knows what they're calling it. That's that's pretty sweet though because it means that we're going to be getting um, new graphics cards as well. And uh, with new consoles. Right, because uh, game developers have to develop around the lowest common denominator, right? So, yeah, PC's better. But, um, when, when you're developing a game, you want to make sure that it also runs on the Xbox and the PlayStation. So that uh, you have just the biggest um, you know, audience. The biggest potential audience. So as the, as the consoles get better... You know, the consoles being the lowest common denominator means that uh, developers can uh, be more ambitious with their projects because they have uh, a little bit more leeway on the uh, on the lower end. And uh, so it means that the quality of games, new AAA games anywhere, are going to be going up. PC exclusives are going to be primarily unaffected, but the uh, the other thing you got to recognize about um, the AAA games going up is that this means that like Unity and uh, Unreal Engine and you know all of this are going to be also increasing in, in quality because that's what happens as we get a new console release and then every game that's developed with that is going to have more powerful tools available to it and that means that in general we're going to have better games well not necessarily better games but um, more complicated games with more more things happening at any given moment you know like uh, flight simulator 2020 which isn't a game so it's a simulator you don't play it I'm just uh, I'm poking fun at Jay Jay's two cents you want to you want to ramble about uh, flight simulator 2020 not being a game but instead being a simulator so I'm poking fun at him I don't think I've ever had this one. Ooh, it's pretty. This is a really bad spot to be uh, guarding, though. It's a really bad spot to... It's a bad hill to die on, I'll tell you that much. And it is the hill that we will die on. Probably. I mean, I'm not good enough to defend this kind of an area where we are completely surrounded by Zeds. This is, uh, is a particularly bad uh, zone defense. But we're gonna try it. I'll be I'll be darned if I don't try it. You know? Oh, I thought I'd be able to hit that. Ho 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 ho. I have to be it's it's a bit of a radio silence here as I uh, as I focus on not dying in this in this zone. I gotta pull out the uh, all of the all of the brain power here, you know? Come on, dude. Just get shot. Yeah, that's what I expected. That's what I expected. I couldn't if I if I managed to shoot that. Uh, if I managed to shoot that one dude, the Edar, I think we would have managed to win, but I didn't. So we've died. And that's okay. I can accept this. You know, we did uh, we did pretty good at the end there. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if anything. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.